Hey guys, what's up? It's me Robert here with JTech Apple and today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at 10 visual tweaks and these will be in no particular order but we will be going over the best ones and the ones that you should have on your device so let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Now the first one we're gonna go ahead and look at is called Dock Shift and it's very simple. All you have to do is go into the application and then you can choose which way you want your dock to look like. Either that is dark and blurry or light and blurry or no dock at all. That's what personally what I use it for and the app works well smoothly and I've had no crashes at all. Now the next app that we're going to go ahead and look at is called Zeppelin and what Zeppelin allows you to do is change your carrier name and change it to a picture or nothing at all or whatever you may want it to be you can change it to. You can even make your own custom image and then just upload it and put it through iFile or you can go ahead and download new ones in the Cydia store so you can make it a Pac-Man logo, you can make it the Assassin's Creed logo, you could do whatever you want and you can make that your carrier name logo and Zeppelin makes it very simple and easy to use. Now the next one we have is called Bigify and it allows you to make changes to the icons you have on your home screen or whatever screen it may be and you can change the transparency, the tilt, you can make it bigger. Overall this app is very awesome and you can make your icons very creative. You can even flip them upside down and I just like to make the icons smaller and also hide the icon labels and that's what Bigify allows you to do. Now Blurred Music app is definitely on my list because I don't like the way that the music app, the stock music app looks and how Apple designed it. I really think it has too much white and what Blurred Music app allows you to do is change that white look and have your album artwork define what your music app looks like. So it pretty much takes the colors from the album artwork and allows the program to expand and make your music player look like the album artwork and you really have to try this out to see what it looks like. It's very pretty and a lot better than the stock music application. Now speeding right through this list we've got message customizer and the name says it all. It allows you to customize your messages app and this is by far my favorite one on this list. It allows me to change the color of the bubbles, to change the width of them, to change the opacity. You can even add a background image which just looks great. You could add profile pictures and just a ton of stuff is available with Message Customizer. And it also gets a ton of updates almost daily. And you can definitely download it for free on the App Store and change the way your message app looks. Now the sixth application or tweak that we have is called Flux and what Flux allows you to do is change the tint of your screen especially during the nighttime. You can make it a more yellowish tint so it is easier on your eyes and a lot of people use their phone at night in bed which is what I do and what Flux allows you to do is change that tint and make it easier on your eyes so when you're viewing your phone it doesn't hurt your eyes there's not that glowing blue color but a more softer warmer color that will you know, help your eyes focus and preserve your eyes, which is very important in my opinion. Now the next one that we got is called Custom LS and that stands for lock screen and it allows you to change the way your lock screen looks. Either you want to hide your NC grabber or if you want to show time in the status bar or you can even do custom text for the slide to unlock text and it's a very versatile app and definitely something cool if you want to customize your lock screen. Now the next one we have is called Boover and you guys can get it in Cydia and it allows you to change the position size and color of the little notification lights that pop up next to your applications and you guys can change it to any color, you can make it really big, really small and the app is a pleasure to use and I have gotten a look that I really like and just Boover is a great application. Now with the iOS 7 update, two new changes came to the keyboard. One was a dark looking keyboard and one was a light looking keyboard and they switch off in between applications. Now a lot of people seem to like that dark keyboard and if you guys want, you guys can get it in Cydia and it's called Blord, B-L-O-A-R-D and it's a great tweak if you really like that black keyboard and want it to be system wide instead of switching with that white keyboard which I personally want on my phone and I like that black keyboard and I want it to be everywhere on my phone and Blord allows me to do that. Now the last visual tweak I have for today and the last one for this video is called Alkaline. It allows you to change the way your battery looks in the status bar and you guys can download a lot of themes on Reddit. You can find a lot of themes there and you can also download several themes in the Cydia store and the one that I have now is really cool. It has five little bars and the battery percentage shows 
and the battery also shows in those little bars. It's confusing to tell, but as you guys can see on screen, it looks very nice and you can change it to a whole bunch of different themes. You just got to download the application and then search from there on. So that about wraps up today's video. I want to thank you all for watching and subscribe if you haven't so you could stay up to date with the content and be sure to leave a like for this series as well. And also, if you guys have not seen the functional video with the functional Cydia tweaks, be sure to hit that link down in the description which will take you to that video. And that's about it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.